Hello friends, this video on atom and molecules part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's do a recap of what we have done and after that we'll do some numericals. We have seen that during a chemical reaction, some of the mass of reactant and the product remains same. Right? We have seen that carbon plus oxide is equal to carbon dioxide and we have seen this in this let's suppose 16, 12 gram of carbon and uh, 32 gram of oxygen was used so we got some 44 gram of carbon dioxide right all the reaction happened so the mass of reactant and mass of product is always uh, same right this law of conservation of mass the second thing we studied is in the pure chemical compound elements are always in the definite proportion for example you take water from any source you take water from well ocean river doesn't matter you'll always have two molecules of hydrogen and one molecules of oxygen combined to form water this is called law of definite proportion atom is the smallest particle of the element that exists independently and retain all its chemical property very few but mostly it is in the form of molecule for example you'll see oxygen molecule right but some case atom also exists independently for example helium okay Molecule is the smallest particle of again uh, element that is capable of independent, uh, existing independently under all condition and it shows all the chemical property. Right? Please note there is a can here and this is under all condition. That's why right. so oxygen can exist but oxygen typically exists in O2 or O3 form. This is molecule form. Right? And this shows all the property and this retains all the property here. So you can actually break a molecule to atom and that will exist independently under some condition. But this is molecule exist under ordinary condition. Okay. We talk about the chemical formula. It shows its constituents elements and the number of atoms of each combining element. For example, water molecular formula is H2O. It says that there is two hydrogen and one oxygen combined. And we have also studied the rules to write chemical formula. Cluster of atoms that act as ions are called polyatomic ions and they have charge. For example, SO4 2 minus, NO3 minus, right? Or CO3 2 minus. These are all polyatomic ions. And the chemical formula of a molecular component determine the valency. We have by, by a valency we have seen that. For example, HCl plus 1 minus 1 you do a swap you get HCl water H and O plus 1 minus 2 you do a swap you get H2O this is something we have seen ionic compound the charge on each ions is used to determine the chemical formula so for um, uh, other thing we use for covalent we use actually the valency for ionic we use typically charge and scientists use relative atomic mass to scale actually to compare the atomic mass of different elements and carbon 12 isotope is assigned the benchmark and every other element relative atomic mass is considered or is calculated or is calibrated using mass of carbon 12 isotope right in the history we have seen earlier hydrogen was used then oxygen and then carbon 12. Avogadro constant this is 6.22 into 10 to the power 23 this is the number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of carbon 12 okay and the mole of a substance is nothing but any any uh, thing which has exactly 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 particles or it is nothing but the molecular mass amount of that particular substance so as I told the mole is the amount of substance that contains the same number of particles and the particles can be atoms ions molecules etc that is there exactly in 12 gram of C12 and there is nothing but this number also we told mass of one mole of substance is nothing but its molar mass okay Let's take some numerical now. 0.24 gram sample of oxygen and boron was found by analysis to contain 0.096 gram of boron 
and 0.144 gram of oxygen. Find the percentage composition by its weight. So I have a sample which has oxygen and boron. So oxygen and boron. Okay. It contains 0 0.096 gram of boron. Sorry. 0 0.096 gram of boron. And 0.144 gram of oxygen. Let's add these two values. So when you add this, you get 0 0.24. And that is the total sample. Correct. Okay. So we have a sample 0.24 gram which has 0.144 gram of oxygen and 0.96 gram per. We have to find the percentage composition of compound by weight. The percentage of boron will be what? Mass percentage. Will be what? Mass of boron. By mass of sample in 200 put the value of mass of boron is 0.96 sorry 0 0.096 by 0 0.24 gram this is gram and this is 100 gram gram gets cancelled you solve this you get 40 percent similarly mass percentage of oxygen you can actually see that this is mass of oxygen by mass of sample into 100 directly you can say that is mass of oxygen is 0.44 by 0.24 gram gram into 100 you solve it you get 60 percent or directly you can say that mass percentage of oxygen is 100 minus 40 percent that is also one way because they are only Two components. To be on safe side, always calculate. Okay, because let's suppose it has some x other compound that and that was had some weight and total weight was not 0.24, then direct formula won't work. So better you calculate for all in the exam. So next question is when three gram of carbon is burned in eight gram of oxygen. 100 gram of carbon dioxide is produced. What is the mass of carbon dioxide form when 3 gram of carbon is burned in 50 gram of oxygen? Carbon is burned in oxygen to form carbon dioxide. T is equal to 0. This was 3 gram. This is 8 gram. And this was 0 gram. T is equal to T some 11 gram of carbon dioxide is produced law of conservation of mass that means all these gram is used right this becomes 0 and this becomes 8 plus 3 11 8 plus 3 11 so 11 and this is 11 perfectly fine okay now again this is one scenario the second scenario is 3 gram of carbon this is 3 gram 50 gram of oxygen 50 gram and this is 0. So at t is equal to t, what will happen? See, 3 gram of oxygen will only react at the max with 8 gram of, 3 gram of carbon will react at the max with 8 gram of oxygen, nothing more than that, right? This is because in this case, both reactant and produce are, uh, both the reactants are consumed, right? Carbon and oxygen is consumed to give 11 gram of carbon dioxide. So that means this will become 0 and this will become 450 minus 8. Only 8 gram will be used and here you get 11 grams again. So question is what is the mass of carbon dioxide produced? So here also 11 gram of carbon dioxide will be produced. Only 8 gram will be used and here also log conservation of mass if you see at t is equal to 0, 0 we had 53 grams and t is equal to t will have 42 plus 7 53 grams. But note that if you provide excess oxygen, all the oxygen will not be used, it will be unused. Right? So that means when you burn a matchstick, all the oxygen on the earth doesn't get vanished. Only the oxygen required to burn that matchstick is used. Other oxygen, remaining oxygen is still in air. 
Here also in second scenario, what we are doing is we are pumping in more oxygen. But to burn 3 grams, only 8 gram of oxygen is required. To burn 3 gram of carbon, only 8 gram of oxygen is required. So only 8 gram of oxygen will be used and the remaining will be unused. Okay. And actually you can prove this typically because law of conservation uh, by mole also, one mole of carbon reacts with one mole of oxygen molecule to give one mole of carbon dioxide. One mole is 12 gram. This is 32 gram. Right? So 12 gram reacts with 32 gram or divide each of by 4. What do you get? 3 grams react with 8 gram and that's what we have seen. Right? Because the common number we can divide. 3 grams of carbon will react with 8 gram of oxygen. So even if these numbers are not known, even if these numbers are not given, directly if you have this question that 3 grams of oxygen reacts with 50 grams of 3 grams of carbon reacts with 50 grams of oxygen how much carbon dioxide is produced you should actually be able to find out using the concept of mole thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.